I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. I am watching you, tree. Sweet tracks. Any units I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It... it it's... An Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? They appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? 
Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always there. Holding out My on figurines squad. are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will God sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains. Yeah. Guys. I think we should hear our group for once. I am Woot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get a quill. The point is is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. See, the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of this room. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. I am endeavoring to contain my enthusiasm. Our mission is of prime importance. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. Of course, it had to be raining. Hey, 
Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you. Uh, Gamora! Who's Bluebird? Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um, was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Pirates, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Shatari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, never the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... you know. They hit just as many Resistance ships, until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime, with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which... Now that I'm hearing it would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Hey, Groot. You think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? My Groot. Ah, oh, come on, it's only gonna take a tick. My uh, Groot. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left. I hope y'all like walking because this is gonna take a while. Well, you think I'm glad we landed this far from the fortress? Cheer up, rodent. The rain will be refreshing. Rain is sky trash. Why? Calm down yourself. You love rain. Plant. 
I hate wet. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. You got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We will walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Keep hiking, Trev. That's just a fancy word for walking. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Breathe. Space Lady of Hellbender's Rage, head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Blow your worst, monstrous queen! <laughs> Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's careful! That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get thrown right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger! Yeah, she would live! If any of you die, Should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. Eh, not sure. It ain't moving now. We'll be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little bit. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready. Let's see those branches. Things. Now is not 
thing for watching Peter Quill! About time! Think these jiggle cubes go to jiggly heaven? Jokes us a lot of pain for such a weird little thing! The outer muck is only a distraction! I will enjoy this! monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? To the fortress? Hopefully. Once the Seknarf died, all paths must lead to Lady Hellbender's fortress. I didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Will I continue ripping it apart? No, no, no. I think we're good. made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. I'm going to scout ahead! Try not to kill yourselves on the way up! 
There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Trouble, assassin. The depressions are deep. This thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. Uh, even with growth? Okay, maybe excluding growth. Gamora. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me down. We're not throwing rocket. Very well. You sons of flopping dogs. How will we cross? Look around, we'll find another way. Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch. Did not Only because Quill stopped you. Then there should be no problem. I'm watching you, you Katafian psychopath. No, the statues are not watching us. It would be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? He would still have three. No one's throwing rocket. What guitar is that doing on a backwater mud? Shooting their way out of every problem again, Peter. Trying to.
statues are of the monsters on this planet? They're made of rock. Thanks, genius. I mean, maybe this is why Hellbender is so hot for monsters. Just another religious nut. He's not a nut of any kind. He's a conqueror. Maybe these were from the people she conquered. dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. <clears throat> no, that aimless shooting isn't gonna scare the monsters away, right? Hey! My shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, Heroism! Hey! I found more ruins down here! A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? I may have angered them. Them? All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a skull. Wait, hear that? Boys oh. up, people! Incoming! Fucking <laughs> monster things! Everyone get ready! Beware! <laughs> yes! I am enjoying myself! I will face all of the of the kings! Get it out of your system before we get there! Branch out, crew! They don't care! They can fly! So can you, genius! You can fly these pieces straight to Lady Hellbender! I ain't riding something that wants me!
Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. Fifty units says it ain't. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Uh, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sekhnarch Nine. Ha! <laughs> that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitari infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress. Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Being Groot of the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B. Just. Go. No, you just no go. One go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. He does it. The group says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Ah, yep, definitely saw the giant head. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. I got it. Guys, anyone know what that is?
Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Voila! So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out! Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. <laughs> See anything useful up there? Bodies are still in there. I got eyes on this dumped up reactor. A couple of shots to bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. What do you think made this place worth fighting over? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the ships we've seen just got taken down by the storms. You think this place was like a secret base? Could be. The middle of nowhere, inhospitable surface, storms provide cover from detection. This unit is tremendously heavy! What next, Peter Quill? Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories! See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind bubble treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. Well, we are not committed to safety. What? We're safe-ish. Huh. One thing is clear. We would never have a accomplish this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! 
Lady Hellbender's fortress. It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Slimy. 